Hey friends, Doug Addison here. I have a powerful word for you, powerful word of encouragement. June 24th, 2021, and the Lord is moving right now. There's a powerful, powerful anointing to breakthrough. You have to contend for your breakthrough, though. Uh, Isaiah 59, 19, where the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord lifts up a new standard against them. That's going on right now. Satan's coming in like a flood in your life, the, it, around us and stuff. It's time to raise up, come into agreement with the Lord and not your attacks. I felt that Nehemiah 8.10 is really important right now. Do not grieve, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Now, sure, uh, if you're going through losses, and things, you, there is a time of greeting. But I tell you, get through things right now. Don't, don't get depressed. Don't get down, because the joy of, of the Lord is your strength. And the key for you right now is to not drown in sorrow, but do your best to step into a place of joy as much as you as you can. Laugh. Try something out of the ordinary routine, routine or something. Do something. The Lord is doing something new. Now, there's a prophetic word right now. I want to release this word. This is fresh. Hosea 2.15 the Lord is getting you out of the valley of trouble. I just got this word yesterday at Hosea 2.15. I will return to her, the vineyards, uh, and transform the valley of trouble into a gateway or a doorway of hope. Hosea 2.15. You want to write that down. This is a fresh word right now. I will return your vineyards. In other words, the enemy has stolen things, stolen the new wine, stolen provision, stolen stuff. Uh, the Lord said, I'm going to transform the valley of trouble into a door of hope. And he's returning things right now. And he's opening a gateway or op opportunity to step into new hope. When I got this word yesterday, I felt, I mean, it was, everything looked opposite. But the Lord says, just move through it. I tell you. Uh, joy came this morning. I got up and I felt, wow, yeah, I'm stepping through this door of hope. It's a new door. And I tell you, what, if, if I ever see one, I'll take as many people with me as I can. Come on through this door. Come through this door right now by faith. Uh, Romans 3, uh, I think it's Romans 5, 3 through 5. This is the Passion Translation. It's really powerful. Even in times of trouble, when we have, we still have a joyful confidence knowing that our pleasures are products excuse me that's wrong sorry. let me just get that again even in times of trouble we have a joyful confidence knowing that our pressures will develop into the uh, patience and endurance and patience and endurance will refine our character and character will lead us back to hope i'm so far into pleasures and and, and the joy opened and, uh, that uh, it made me mess up on that. But there's something going on, verse 5. You'll want to get a hold of this right now is Romans 5.5. 5, and that is the hope will never disappoint. I tell you, the Lord is doing something new. He is reviving you right now, but you got to get up and get out of that place and get out of the valley of trouble. Get out of the valley of trouble. Just just walk forward. I want to encourage you to keep pressing on. Don't give up. Don't lose heart. The days of deliverance are here. This day is a day of your breakthrough. This word uh, is a word of breakthrough for you. Today is a turning point in the spiritual realm. You can mark the calendar. You're going to see some changes start to happen. You do need to press in. Don't look back. <laughs> Don't give up. Don't turn to the right or the left. Uh, the Lord's doing something new right now. So, Lord, I pray I'm going to release this over people. And I'm seeing something happening in the spiritual realm. Some people who have been trying to get a, a miracle or, or a breakthrough, uh, there's something that's going to happen in the next uh, the next seven days. You're going to get some things together. And you might uh, be mistaken and think it's just a coincidence. This is a God thing. There is a door opening right now. You'll want to watch. Uh, and I see in some people who have been struggling with what to do. I saw several people 
the Lord says that you need to update your resume. It's not ready. Your resume is not ready. You need to update your resume. Get ready because he's going to open up a new opportunity. He's going to bring something. And with some people, this isn't everybody, but with some people, this new opportunity is going to open ministry opportunities, even though it's a work situation. I saw people who uh, are about to change locations, uh, and the Lord says, I'm going to move. I'm going to move you. Uh, and I heard the Lord say, even the cows on the hill say, move. There's something going on right now because cows represent uh, provision. And I'm seeing this right now. There's going to be a move. There are going to be moves that, op that result in greater provision. Uh, provision again with any of these words any prophetic word you need to get confirmation and the Lord is now opening up the heavens for revelation step under this rain I tell you that it, it is a powerful thing I still get and I have to battle just as much as I'm having a good time here but I don't care the word of the Lord is real and there is a there is a shifting that's going to happen over the next couple months especially into September we're going to be entering into the land uh, in September. I heard the Lord just now when I was, we were praying, I was praying, I, I had to prophesy this, is that you need to anoint your land. Some of you have not taken your land, whether you own it or not. You need to stake it out. What I do is I use Deuteronomy 111. You can write D111, uh, excuse me, it's Deuteronomy 1111. So you could write D11 colon 11 on something or anything. I use Deuteronomy uh, 11 11 and I uh, you know I, I put it on a little clothes pin uh, you know I get four of them I drive it in the stakes around my house anywhere I am or if I'm in an office uh, I just take I pray Deuteronomy 111 it says the land that you are now taking possession of is not like Egypt that you came out of where you had to work it by hand but it is a land that the God our father looks at day and night and, and drinks this new land, drinks from heaven. But the key thing of Deuteronomy 11, 11, 11 is take possession of the land. And this is a prophetic word for some people. You need to claim it like I, I have this office here. Uh, you know, and I don't own this building. I don't even, we don't even own our house, but we, we staked out our house. And when I moved in here, I just took the anointing oil and I said Deuteronomy 11, 11 over every corner. And you can do things, but there's some people that need to take, you need to do this. That's why you're getting hit. I tell you, my warfare went way down. I still had to deal with things, but it went way down once I, I declared that this is the land of the Lord that he's given you. You don't have to own it to do this, but you can own this. the, uh, the verses that we're talking about. You can own the word. He owns it. He, he owns everything. And I just release this word right now. I release the word of the doorway uh, of hope and getting out of the valley of trouble. I release this. This is a powerful time. There might even be more to this coming, that word of, from Hosea 2.15. There's something more. I release the prophetic ministry that's going on right now. I release you out of the valley of trouble and into the joy that the Lord has in. The joy of the Lord is indeed your strength. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, you can still get my uh, replay. If you haven't seen my uh, really powerful training I did last week in preparing for your visitation, releasing the spirit of Elijah, oh, it's a, it's a new level. Whether, you're, uh, you know, whether you need a visitation, I go through how to have a visitation, plus how to get out of the orphan spirit. I believe that it's possibly that a lot of the church is operating in this. We're in a fatherless time. How to get out of the orphan spirit. Whether you need that for yourself or you can, you uh, need it as a ministry tool. You can use these new cutting edge prayers to help get you out of that. Just go to DougAddison.com forward slash visitation. Hey, get ready. Uh, on July 1st through the 6th, I'm going to be doing a 30% off digital project product sale, uh, which... Uh, is uh, coming next week, dougaddison.com forward slash freedom. And it's going to be a powerful, powerful time. God bless you all. Be encouraged.